Hello everybody, my name is CMA Preeti Sitaraman, a faculty of Logic School of Management and I am here to take on the topic cost of capital. The cost of existing preferred stock. The cost of existing preferred stock is a function of the annual cash flow in the form of dividends and the market value of preferred stock. The cost of existing preferred stock is the annual cash flow in the form of dividends divided by the current market value of preferred stock. Since the amount of dividend is set when preferred stock is issued, the numerator will not change. But the cost of preferred stock will vary from time to time because the denominator will change with a change in the market price of preferred stock. Let us take this example. Rhino Corporation has outstanding preferred stock of 12,000 shares. The annual dividend is 4% of par value of $25 or $1 per share. The market value of preferred share is $25.5 per share. Calculate the cost of preferred stock. We know the formula. Cost of preferred stock is equal to the annual dividend divided by the market value of preferred shares. Annual dividend is equal to 4% on par value of $25 that is $1 per share. Number of outstanding preferred shares equal to 12,000 shares. Therefore, the annual dividend on outstanding shares is equal to the number of shares into dividend per share. So that is 12,000 shares into 1 per share that is equal to $12,000. The market price per preferred share is equal to $25.5. So the market value outstanding will be 12,000 into 25.5. Therefore, the cost of preferred stock is equal to $12,000 divided by $3,6,000 and that comes to 0. 0.039 or 3.9 percent. Next we will see what is the cost of new preferred stock. So when new preferred shares are issued the firm will incur flotation cost. The flotation cost includes the administrative expenses associated with the registration of the security, the investment banking fees paid to the brokers who sell the securities, the flotation cost will reduce the proceeds from the sale of securities. So therefore, the cost of new preferred stock is equal to CNP that is equal to the yearly dividend D divided by net proceeds from the issuance of preferred stock that is NP. Therefore, CNP is equal to D divided by PN. So CNP is the cost of new preferred stock where D is equal to the yearly dividend per share and PN is the net proceeds per share that is the selling price or market price minus the issuance cost per share or the flotation cost per share. Now let us consider this example. A preferred stock pays $8 dividend per share. It sells for $100 per share. If the company issues new shares of preferred stock, it would incur underwriting and flotation cost of $2 per share. Now calculate the cost of new preferred stock. So CNP is equal to D divided by PN. That is the cost of new preferred stock is equal to the yearly dividend per share divided by the net proceeds per share. D is equal to $8 per share. Net proceeds per share is equal to the current price minus the flotation cost. That is 100 minus 2 that comes to 98. Therefore, the cost of new preferred stock is equal to 8 divided by 98 that is equal to 8.16%. The main difference between the cost of existing preferred stock and the cost of newly issued preferred stock is that the denominator of the existing preferred stock is the market price of a share of stock and the denominator for new preferred stock is the net proceeds per share received from selling the new issue of stock. Thank you.